hello again, stranger. Let's take a step back, yeah. England was nearing the conclusion of the 15th century. At the end of the long, arduous, bloody Wars of the Roses, neither of the houses York nor Lancaster stood victorious. That honor belonged to the house of Tudor, or more appropriately, Henry Tudor. Henry, a shirt-tailed member of the Lancaster clan, had barely a hint of a claim to the throne, but by marrying Elizabeth of York and proving himself at the Battle of Bosworth Field, he stood victorious. Henry was able to win the crown, and the rest, as they say, is history. As many of his forebears proved, it is one thing to become king. It's something else completely to stay that way. <clears throat> Winter King by Thomas Penn chronicles Henry's life as the first Tudor king from when he first unites the roses to his last day's death and immediate legacy. Penn carefully illustrates the paranoid micromanagerial monarch using all of the contemporary sources, showing his diplomatic, feudal, financial, legal, and illegal efforts to cement the Tudor house as the legitimate caretakers of the British throne and to prove this act as the utmost benefit to the struggling England. Behind all of the pageantry, circumstance, tradition, and tragedy lies a flawed man who inherited a flawed nation. He was constantly threatened by potential usurpers, both legitimate and pretender, as well as powerful competitors in a world that was seemingly growing larger with each new discovery in the wealthy new world. His ways of combating these competitors nowadays might seem Nixon-esque, but at the time it was nonetheless effective, and some might argue necessary. Penn gives us Henry's introduction of a teenage Catherine of Aragon to his English court, the deaths of his eldest son and wife, his coddling of son Henry, the only surviving chance of a Tudor future in England, his dealings with the Italian merchants, the Pope, and his investment in an alum black market. It was the Renaissance after all, and Henry was the quintessential English Renaissance man. You'll find the rest within these pages. Of that, I'll say no more. I've been Johnny. You're always welcome. In my neck of the woods. Oh, good girl. Good job. Well, I hope you liked that video. Feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you think or would like to see in any future videos. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for more great content from Mortar and Ivy, preserving the culture and class of our glorious past.